we just tell them about how Jesus was the Son of God. And he died on the cross for their sins. And how he rose on the third day. And he could put his spirit in you to change you from the inside out. To where now suddenly you're a slave to what's right. Now suddenly you desire the things of God. And now you actually want his king. Paul said, I, that's all I did. He goes, because I wanted your faith to rest on a power. And I wanted there to be a demonstration of the Spirit's power. But it was a choice he had to make. And he goes, so I come, and I, I come with some trembling, because if God doesn't move, then I'm just going to sound stupid. Paul could have come and made sure that no matter what, the people would be impressed by him. But he had to make a choice in faith and say, no, I'm not going to do that because I want to see his power. Man, and I've been praying for that. You know, the Bible says that, that, that to each person, every one of us, including myself, is given a manifestation of the Holy Spirit for the common good. Do you understand? So he's saying somehow the Spirit of God could manifest through me. And we, we read these words, but do you understand what that means? Like for the spirit to manifest through you. We understand demon possession. We understand like if I were possessed by a demon right now, that suddenly, let's say I just allow a demon to take over my body, what would that look like? If he suddenly, I, Francis, is no longer in control, but he allowed this demon into him, and now he's just speaking the most vile, destructive, whatever things. It's not him, it's that demon. So what would it look like, seriously, if the Holy Spirit right now possessed my body? And it wasn't Francis Chan speaking, but it really was of God. He said something spiritual could manifest through me for your good. This power. And I'm going, God, that's all I want anymore. I am so done with the man-made wave. I'm reading scripture, and I'm going, there is a greater power. And until I lay those other things aside and come in weakness and trembling, Say, Holy Spirit, just move in this room and convict people who don't really know you. Because so much of church and the things we do can just be human. I know I can fire up a crowd. But I could do that for anything. I could go work for Chick-fil-A and fire them up about their pickles, whatever. You know, just, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's physical gifting, and then there's something that you read about in Scripture that's like supernatural. And I'm just so hungry for that. I read about the church in the book of Acts. Right now, the church is going through the book of Acts. You can't fake these things. These aren't man-made things. I have to have this. together, they both spoke, and then it was my turn, you know, to kind of close out the night, and I looked at them, I go, I feel like these guys aren't going to do anything with what we just talked about, like, what, what can I say up there, what can 
I say to motivate them to get to the ends of the earth, to go to these places? And, and as I'm talking and asking and we're planning, I just stop. I go, wait a second, you guys. I go, when you gave your life to Jesus, did anyone have to beg you to spend time with him? Did anyone have to beg you to get the sin out of your life? Did anyone have to beg you to be his witness? Did anyone beg you to, to, to be about the kingdom? Like, well, I don't know about you guys, but when I gave my life to Jesus as a teenager, like something inside happened to me where I actually thought, wait, I can speak to him? So he's standing on his throne and, and he's in charge of everything and I'll talk to him and he'll listen. Are you kidding me? You know, how do I do this? I want to do this. When I, when I, when, when God came into me, the, the stuff that I was involved in, like the sin in my life, it's like, I didn't have someone begging me, hey, quit that, quit that, quit that. Like inside of me, I became a slave to righteousness. And so when the Spirit came into me, like I can't spend my days surfing and golfing, that would drive me insane. Like, I have to do something for the kingdom. I'm thinking about how everything's changing in the world, and we've got this short window of time, and I'm like, I need to do something. I don't want to go to liberty and just give another sermon and go home. No, we've got to change things. I think something real has to, like, all these things are welling up inside of me. So why is it then, do I feel like I need to get in front of a crowd and pull them and drive them and push them towards these things? Could it be that nothing's going on inside and we need all these external things? 